a Rails application, let's say you have an about page and a contact page that you want to create. The easiest way to create these pages is using the gem high voltage. Because these are static pages, pages that aren't really pulling dynamic content or anything like that, we can easily use the high voltage gem to just reference a pages folder within our views. And then all you have to do is create the different files that you want to use and then you can reference to them just as a page path. You don't have to mess with any kind of controllers or other models or anything like that with high voltage. It just kind of all works right out of the box. All right, to get started, just add the high voltage gem to your gem file. Be sure to run bundle and restart your Rails application. And then you can go into your terminal and within your application folder, let's create the folder pages under app and views. And then you can create your about page just by touching that it'll just create the file and then we can also do the same for our contact page so now we can go into our menu partial and we can change this anchor to the page path and then we can add in about for the first one and then for our contact page just type in contact so going into our app views pages and the about and contact we can just put in a little h1 heading tag here just so we can see how it looks on our page so navigating up to our about we would expect to see the about page and contact page for the contact page so you'll notice at the top when we go to our contact page you'll see this uri pages forward slash contact now there's a lot of configuration options that we can use with high voltage and let's have a look at some of those whether we want to change its pages to something else like site or we just want to remove that completely and have just the forward slash contact as a URI. So within your config initializers folder, let's create a new file called high voltage. And the first option we'll look at is the home page. So if you want to change your root path to point to the about page, you just set the config dot home page equals to the about. Now if you do this, make sure that within your routes file you do comment out your default root path. And to set your pages to the root URI, you can comment out this line. And this will simply just take the pages extension off of the URI. So when you go to your about page or your contact page, it does not have that pages part in the URI. You can also change the content path by setting the config.contentPath equals to whatever you want to here. Now keep in mind that if you do do this, you will want to change your views pages folder to match that name as well. Let's say you want to protect some of your static pages behind your user authentication. You can set the config routes to false and this will disable the automatic routes. From here, we can create our own custom controller and routes to handle the authentication and then forward on to high voltage the paths to be rendered. So next, let's edit our routes file. We'll just add in two lines. The first line is kind of a catch-all for anything under the pages content here. And then it's passing in the ID. It's going to go to the pages controller show action. And then we can also set our root path if you are using high voltage for the roots. Otherwise, you could just comment that out and keep your original. We can then generate our Rails controller for the pages. So just Rails generate controller pages. Once you do this, we can then edit the pages controller. So within our pages controller, we can add in the include high voltage static page. And saving this, then your application will function with high voltage just as it did before before we added the custom routes and controller. You can then include any kind of before action filters or authentication methods here. So for example, let's say if we have a before filter test and then we're just going to log to our logger here, high voltage, you can then go into your view here, refresh the page, check the logs, and you'll see high voltage in the logs here. So from here, you can then add in your necessary authentication whether it is a uh, authentication for you know just another before filter or whatever methods that you need to add in. So that is high voltage. Be sure to check out their web page and their documentation for just some other things that you can do with engines and other configuration settings. Thank you for watching.